Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends. Today we will discuss one question of cost sheet where we have some typical adjustment like sale of scrap, defective work, corrected, etc. Let us read question first. Supervision company furnishes you with following information about its 1000 TV sets manufacture and sold during the year. Material, direct material, direct wages, direct labor, power and stores, factory overheads, indirect wages, factory overheads, Factory lighting, factory overheads, cost of rectifying defective work. In production process, there is possibility that certain work may get affected, it may get influenced by the wrongdoing of the workers. So there will be possibility of defective work. So that same work has to be corrected. So there will be some expense to correct that bad work into good work. That is called as cost of rectifying defective work. This will be treated as factory overheads. Office and administration expenses, administration overheads. Selling and distribution expenses, selling overheads. Sale of scrap. This will be considered as factory scrap and it will be deducted from factory overage. Sale of 1000 TV sets, there they have given the value of sales, 62 lakhs. Repairs and de depreciation of machinery, that is amount of factory overage. Prepare cost sheet for the above year, that is where we have produced 1000 TV sets, showing the elements of cost per unit. Prepare also the estimated cost sheet for the next year. Assuming that material cost and direct wages cost will increase by 10% and 15%. Factory overheads will be recovered as a percentage of direct wages as of last year. Office overhead and selling overheads will be recovered as a percentage of works cost as of last year. 1500 TV sets will be produced and sold at a price of rupees 6600 each in next year. This is the data information we have with which first we will proceed to prepare cost sheet for the current year. We will proceed to prepare cost sheet for the current year. First direct materials, material they have given 18 lakhs for the first period. Next we have direct labor 10 lakhs. So we got prime cost rupees 28 lakhs. Prime cost per unit will be 2800. To this we are going to add factory overheads. There we have first power and stores 240,000. Next we have indirect wages 3 lakhs, next we 
Next, we have factory lighting, one lakh twenty thousand. Next, we have cost of rectifying defective work, rupees sixty thousand. Here we have information repairs and depreciation of machinery rupees 2 lakhs. So total factory overheads are 9 lakh 20,000. We have information of sale of scrap rupees 40,000. This will be deducted from factory overheads. Per unit factory overheads rupees 880. So here works cost will be getting thirty six lakh eighty thousand. Per unit works cost is three thousand six hundred and eighty. To this we are required to add office and administration overheads. Office and administration expenses are given six lakh eighty thousand. We'll add this to works cost to arrive at cost of production or cost of goods sold. We got cost of production 43,60,000 and per unit it is 4,360. To this we are going to add selling and distribution over it. Selling and distribution expenses they have said 1,20,000. So total cost or cost of sales is 44,80,000 and per unit total cost is 4,480. To this we are required to add profit. So that finally we can arrive at amount of sales. Sale amount is given here 62 lakhs. divided by 1000 units per unit of TV is sold for 6200. So we got total cost, we got sales, we can get profit as balancing figure. So we have completed actual cost sheet for the first year. With the help of this, we are required to prepare now projected cost sheet for the next year. Next year, there will be production and sale of 1500 units, direct material. Material cost will be up by 10%. So last year, material cost was 1800. This will increase by 10%, that is increased by 180 rupees. So per unit material cost will be 1980, direct wages will increase by 15%, last year it was 1000, we will have to add 15% to this. So it will be 1150, so we got estimated direct material and direct labor per unit, 
Now we'll multiply this with 1500 so that we can get the total value. So prime cost will be 46 lakh 95,000 and per unit it will be 3130 rupees. Now we are required to add factory overheads. They say that factory overheads will be recovered as a percentage of direct wages as of last year. So last year direct labor was 10 lakhs and factory overheads were 8 lakh 80,000. So percentage of factory overage to direct labor, it is 88%. This 88% will be applied for the estimated period. In estimated period, direct labor is 17,25,000. We'll be calculating 88% of this amount 17,25,000. It comes 15,18,000 per unit it will be 1,012 by adding this we will be getting works cost so works cost will be estimated 62,13,000 per unit it will be 4,142 rupees to this we are going to add office and administration overheads Office overhead and selling overheads will be recovered as a percentage of works cost last year. Last year office overheads was 6,80,000. Last year works cost was 36,80,000. So we will be calculating percentage of this. It comes to approximately... 18.48% in estimated period works cost is 62,13,000 we'll be calculating same percentage on this it comes 1,14,817 so the amount comes 11,48,162 we can calculate now cost of production now we are required to record selling and distribution over its Selling overhead will be recovered as a percentage of works cost as of last year. So last year selling and distribution overheads were rupees 1 lakh 20,000. Last year works cost was 36 lakh 80,000. It comes to approximately 3.26%. During estimated period, our works cost is 62,13,000. We'll be calculating percentage on this. It comes to 2,2544. Per unit it will be 135. We can arrive at now total cost. Finally, we are required to record now profit and sales. 1500 TV sets will be produced and sold at rupees 6600 each in next year. So selling price is given 6,600.
6,600 multiplied by 1,500 units. We got total sales 99 lakhs. We can now find out the profit. So we got profit 23 lakh 36,340 per unit it is 1,557.56 paise. This is how we have learned how to give effect to sale of scrap and cost of rectification work. Thanks for watching this video. Stay in tune with Ikida and subscribe to our channel Ikida. Thank you.